capillary flow parametry. Let's start here. Uh, capillary flow parametry is used for through pore measurements. So this measures pore sizes about 20 microns, or excuse me, 20 nanometers, oof, 20 nanometers to larger than 500 microns. And this method relies on capillary effects. The capillary effects are the attractive forces that occur between a surface and a fluid that hold the fluid inside the pores of the material. So in the basic experiment, we measure gas flow as a function of increasing gas pressure. And we typically do this in both a dry sample and a wet sample. So here's how the measurement works. We start by completely wetting a material. The capillary forces, if we saturate the material, the capillary forces will fill up all the accessible pores of the sample. Once the sample is completely wet, we apply a gas pressure from upstream to downstream, basically top down uh, to the sample. At some point, the capillary forces uh, are overwhelmed by the gas pressure. The pressure forces some of the fluid out of the pores. And so the gas pressure is going to force the wetting fluid out from the larger pores before it forces the wetting fluid out from the smaller pores. It's really important to note that the pressure at which these through pores are emptied out is inversely related to the pore size. So larger pores require lower pressure, smaller pores require higher pressure. So we do this for both a wet analysis and a dry analysis of the sample. Uh, in the dry analysis, we do the same thing, but without wetting the sample first. We basically just measure gas flow as a function of gas pressure.